Hello lovelies, it's G here from Go To Third Tarot. How are you doing? I'm here to bring you another channel message. I hope this message is finding you blessed and full of abundance as always, my sweets, okay? So let's go ahead and pull a message. Let's get into it. <clears throat> so I have some cards already shuffled out here. So I have the Ace of Swords and the Justice card, okay? The Empress and the ma Magician, I almost said the Hierophant, but the Magician as well as the death card and the five of cups okay also this could be a five of pentacles as well because i heard five of pentacles as well so what i'm getting for this is that there is an empress energy here okay is that i'm just going to say it like you you are in whoever you are no matter how who I, you identify as, you are in this attractive feminine energy where you are manifesting, doing like master manifesting stuff right now, okay? It's coming in and you are very, 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 very quickly manifesting the truth, manifesting justice. Meta, yeah, specifically the truth of a situation coming out is what Spirit was saying. The truth of a situation, you seeing the truth, right? And the balancing of the scales here, right? Yeah, so I just heard somebody say, I knew, I knew I didn't do that. Or I knew like you are like, maybe even somebody you saying like, like, you knew I didn't do that. Like you knew I wasn't guilty. Like you knew that I, you know, but you did, I heard you, but you did it anyway. So there's definitely the truth is coming out here too. And then on the back of the deck ended when I shuffled this out, the king, oh, sorry, the queen of swords, as well as the, the, the king. So the queen and the king of swords, as well as the devil card underneath here. Okay. So, you're manifesting, period. As this truth comes out here, somebody is realizing a truth. And this empress, as this empress here, okay, is manifesting in the end to an old cycle here of anxiety, depression, um, just sadness, low energy, you know, more concentrated on what you've lost or negative thinking as opposed to turning around and seeing what you really have. You're putting an end to the regrets of a situation. So some of you might have regretted a situation here, but you're putting an end. You're putting an end to feeling any kind of guilt, feeling any kind of anxiety, any kind of regrets about the way a situation went down in the past. So if there was a situation where you're just like, I wish this would have just happened different. I wish this would have just, you know, I wish this person would have acted different or treated me different. Or I wish I would have said something different or did something different. You're really putting it into that and being like, it is what it is. It's in the past now. It's time to move on. And you're manifesting in this truth here. Okay. And this could definitely be in between you and a person that really wasn't seeing eye to eye, okay? And it's this kind of putting up these boundaries here to this devil energy here, okay? So your own internal devil energy, right? As you're going inside, right? You're finding how to have victory, how to have victory over this devil energy, how to put up these proper boundaries here, okay? Okay? And I really feel like there is a masculine involved here. Somebody perhaps that doesn't really see eye to eye. I'm also getting somebody could be reaching out to you and trying to have a conversation with you. And you might kind of have like, it, it, it might almost be like a situation where this person's like, I blamed you, but you weren't guilty. I knew it wasn't your fault. And you're like, I know, like, I know it wasn't my fault. I'm hearing closure. Can we get in closure on a situation? But there is a person here, okay, who is... I feel like you're this person, the star. I feel like you're, I feel like the, the feminine, this empress energy is the one in the star energy. And this, see how this person is looking over at this person that's cleaning, bathing themselves, getting better. And they're really wanting to, like, <laughs> they're really wanting to, like, make themselves known, right? They're like, I want some of that fresh water that you got over there. Like, I want some of that healing. I want some of that energy, right? And it's funny, too, because underneath, on, in this deck, underneath, just a couple of underneath where we were, underneath the victory card, I have a page of pinnacles in reverse, right? You're turning down something. And over here, I also have a page of pinnacles. So I feel like somebody might be wanting to make an offer towards you. Bob is just about to say, but I don't feel like you want it. Look, I don't, I don't feel like you're really, you're like, okay. 
Yeah. Oh my God, it came out again. Four of Cups. I feel like you're kind of just like, or maybe this person feels like that's how it would be. You're just kind of like, look, like, nah, I'm not interested. Yeah, I feel like you might have, there's almost this sense of like giving up on somebody. Like giving up, like, you know what? Like, I'm not going to fight for this anymore. Like, like, you know who I am. I don't have to tell you who I am. Like, you know the truth. I don't have to tell you the truth. Like, you know that what you did was wrong. I don't have to tell you you're wrong. And I don't need your apology either. Like, you know, I know, we're both adults. We both knew what happened. Like, you knew that you falsely accused me or you knew that you did me wrong. And that is what it is. I don't need your apology. I don't need your closure. Like, I'm done. And you being in that energy is really, is like drawing. That's why you're in this this empress energy. It's you sitting into your power. And it's, and it, it could be like really like wanting, to, wanting to make this person like come forward. Yeah. Look, look, I didn't even look at King of Pentacles. It's making this person want to come forward and make some kind of solid offer towards you. Because, because what did I say? Queen of Wands, they're really attracted to you. Like, um, I'm seeing a card. What deck is that? Excuse me. It's like, it's like the, is it the love of the romance angels deck? It's like, it's like, oh yes, it's the love yourself first card. And underneath the description, the description says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So there's this energy of like, I don't have to tolerate this. I'm not dealing with this. I don't need you. Like, I don't, I don't need your apology. I don't need this. And as you're healing, as you're just focusing on yourself, there's this energy of it making somebody wanted to come forward. Like it makes them more attracted to you. Excuse my dogs outside, y'all. But, yeah. And it's making this person, like, the more... And it's, it's, like, magnetizing this person to you. It's, like, making them want to come forward. I wonder if your spirit guides are heavy in this person's energy, being like, you know what you need to do. You know what you did. You know that you need to apologize. But it's funny, though... That it's when you decide, you know what, I don't need this. I don't, I don't need to be involved in this, that this person wants to pop back up in your energy. Yeah. So this person is feeling a lot of anxiety, right? They're feeling a lot of anxiety right now. A lot of, they're feeling this separation. They're feeling you walking away. They're feeling you like being like, I'm not even into this anymore. Cause there's something here about this person being like, well, it's almost, it's, ah, oh, I just heard, I just heard, you know what I just heard? I just heard, if you're not going to love me, at least you can hate me. And I don't, and I feel like you don't even hate this person. Like, you're just like, I just don't have the, I don't have any energy for you. Like, I don't have energy, any energy for you, period. And it's got this person worked up. This, this person is feeling nine of swords because you are walking away the hell tell me yeah yeah ace of cups you have a brand new beginning coming yeah you've decided right you're like you know what i have i have a two of, i don't need to worry about these cups that i lost i got a two of cups and this person is freaked out because they feel like you're dumping out their their cup you're like you're dumping out your cup that you had for them if you had like or like you lit a candle for them or you held or held a cup for them, you're dumping it out. You're dumping it out and you're going towards something new, something fresh. And it's got this person feeling nine of swords. And so I just for some of y'all, I just heard secret admirer. So this is a person that's like a secret admirer of yours, okay? And they're feeling like, oh, this person is opening up. They're healing. They're 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 so attractive. Like, it's almost as if like this part is like the the more you walk away, and the more you're just like, I don't, you know what? I don't even care about this. I don't even want this. Like, I'm walking away. This person knows you're a queen of wands. You're an empress. You know. And you're, you know, you're putting up the boundaries. You're like, no, thank you. I'd rather be alone than be with you. But. This person knows you're not going to stay alone. Because they know they like, if I look at this person and I see a queen of wands, I see an empress, I know other people do too. Yeah, they know. 
other people have got to see this got to see this person's value so even if they never showed you that they that they saw your value they always did and they know that other people do too two of pentacles They know that other people do too. Tell me more about this too. <laughs> and it's the Six of Pentacles right back out. Yeah. It's that Six of Pentacles right back out. They know that other people, and they're just like, oh my gosh. They were juggling you. They were juggling you. They were juggling going back, keeping you like on the hook or something like that, keeping you waiting. Something about like this person liked you, like keeping you waiting or something. I mean, for some of y'all, this is kind of like, this is this person kind of doing this like they like to keep you waiting kind of like in a malicious way and for some of them it kind of pads their ego a little bit for some of them they're just kind of like really nervous about coming towards you because they know they want to commit to you they know they want to be with you but they see you as this empress this queen of wands and they're afraid that you're gonna that you're going to they're afraid that you're gonna not want to be with them Yes, they're afraid that you're not going to want to be with them. And they're afraid that the other people will see the value. They're, for some of them, I just heard they're afraid because they know you know your value and you know other people won't play these games. You know that you can, that, that your value, you know, the more you, you love yourself, the more you have res respect for yourself, the more they know other people will see you in that light too. So why is this person why has this person been holding back from the collective? Why are they staying a secret admirer? The moon in reverse. They're coming out. It's coming out. They don't they, they don't want to be honest about the feelings. They want to they wanted to hide their feelings that they had towards you. They wanted to stay in the shadows. They wanted it to stay a secret. Like I said, secret admirer. They wanted to stay secret, but again, Knight of Cups. They want to come out of they want to come out of the shadows. And they want to open up an equal give and take. Again, Six of Pentacles. Tell me more about this moon, this moon in reverse spirit, please. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. This person in one, I see that. Look, there's that Hierophant I was talking about. There's the sun. I saw the Queen of Pentacles try to shuffle its way out. They see you. They see you as a match. They see you as somebody that they want to be with. Somebody that they want to commit to. What did I just say? Somebody they want. You, did you saw? Do you see how that like stuck to my hand? Somebody they want to commit to. Period. King, King of Pentacles. They know they want to commit to you. They know they want to be with you. They they know. For some of them, because the Ten of Cups here is right here, right underneath. For some of them, they know that they want to like be with you, like commit to you, like maybe even like marry you. They're like, you're the one. I know that you're the one. And when I asked, again, to clarify this moon card here, the temperance and the queen of wands came out again. This person is very attracted to you. They feel magnetically drawn into you to balance and harmonize things out. As you're harmonizing yourself, it's like drawing this person into you. Something too though about this person, they, they're like, I want to know that it's safe. I want to know that it's safe to come forward. This person has an issue with being vulnerable. With being vulnerable about how they feel. That's why that moon is in reverse because they don't want to show their emotions. It's kind of almost like a thing like, you should just know how I feel about you. I shouldn't have to tell you. I shouldn't have to come forward. You should just know. You, you know how I feel about you. I shouldn't have to come forward and, and tell you or commit to you. There's something here, too, about this person feeling like, I don't know if this person feels like you have, like, an ego or you have a big head, or this person feels like, it's kind of almost that issue. It's like, you ever had that friend or ever had that person that is, like, never compliments you? Like, they never compliment you on anything that you do, or they never compliment, and if you've ever, 
kind of been like, yo, like, why don't you ever support me? Like, why can't you ever, like, like speak life into me, you know? Well, you know that you're beautiful. Why do I need to tell you you're beautiful? I'm sure you hear, like, it's kind of like the situation where this person's like, I don't need to tell them they're empress. They, 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 I'm, I'm sure they get a thousand people a day telling them they're empress. They don't need me to tell them they're attractive. They don't need me to tell me how much I love them. Like, they get, uh, they get love all day long. Like, everybody loves them. So why, so why should I have to come forward and tell you what you already know? Because a closed mouth don't get fed. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, this person has an issue with competition. This person has an issue with this five, five of swords right here. This person has an issue with how attractive they are to you and how attractive they know other people find you. Page of wands, uh, page of wands here fell out over this ace of swords and this justice card over here. Remember, I said something was coming out, right? On the page of wands is somebody that's got that's gotten some kind of news that sends them on a journey. So either something has come out, or this person feels a need to come towards you and like tell you the truth or confess something to you. Come look. I have to write on the Queen of Pentacles. Confess that they see that they see that they want to be with you, that they see a future, that they're making plans. What is that song? I'm making plans for you. This person's trying to be sneaky about it too. They're trying to do it in a way that like you don't see it coming or do it in a way that is not like overt, uh, overtly obvious. This person doesn't feel like they can just like, like walk up to you or like, you know, come to you at your job or like message you or like be open and obvious with it. They feel like they have to, like they have to like sneak with a seven of swords. They feel like they have to kind of like be sneaky and come towards you and, and make some kind of offer to work together towards you. Why, Spirit? Yeah, some kind of, this person has had some kind of, this person has been going inside and they've had some kind of revelation. Something has been revealed to them. Why does this person feel like they have to sneak, Spirit? Five of Pentacles, they feel like you would leave them out, like you would walk away or you would turn away. You know, this is giving me cold shoulder. They feel like the cold shoulder from you. They feel like you're not interested. Or they feel like you're just, you know, like you're done with it. Yeah. Which I was just about to say, which is exactly why Page of Pentacles, they want to come forward. Because they're like, wait, don't go. Wait, don't go. Don't turn it. No, wait. I see that you're really legitimate about walking away and pouring this cup out. Don't go. Don't leave. Page of Swords. It's almost as like as if they feel like they'd be able to come forward and say something to you and that would just like stop you in your tracks. Like, wait, don't. There's something, there's so much, there's this whole important information that you just don't understand, that you just don't get. There's an important piece of information that you haven't been given. But this person is pulling all the pages. Page of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Page of Cups. It's it's young. It's fr it's this kind of because it's, I think it's the Seven of Swords. There is this lack of maturity here. Again, Ace of Swords. This person knows the truth, but they just can't come up to you and be like, "I love you," or "I really care about you," or "Have all these feelings for you." I find you very attractive. Like. They're doing all this like sneaky weird stuff. Clarify this justice card for me, please, Spirit. Wheel of Fortune. The karmic wheel is turning. The truth has come out. The karmic wheel is turning, and you have ended up on the top of the wheel. 
And this person feels like they're on the bottom of the wheel. Mm -hmm. I was just about to say, why, why did this person come for it now? Ten of Wands. This person feels extremely burdened by what they're going through and some kind of truth. Some kind of truth has been laid bare to them. And now that this person knows that truth, they're taking that, they're like, oh my God, they're dropping all these wands, taking that one and being like, oh my God. I got I got to come towards collective. I got to go towards this empress. What's this truth spirit in this deck? No, they don't want it in this deck. The strength card. What's this truth that this person has learned? What's why now? Oh my gosh. Just want me to know. No, no, no. Okay. But like it was like the judgment card and the judgment card was the main one that was standing out to me. Nine of Pentacles. I'm not sorry, not Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. Their wish fulfillment. They're really, really slowly, slowly coming to the realization that this is their wish fulfillment, or that you know something about their wish fulfillment, how to how to get their wish fulfillment. The Knight of Pentacles came right back out. What's this true spirit? Tell me, be honest. The truth is they know. They know that you're your wish that they know that you're that you're walking away eight of cups towards your wish fulfillment. And they know that they've had an offer, that they've had something, they know it's like it's like I don't want to miss out. It's like, oh, I've been dragging my feet, oh, I've been hanging out here, and I've been doing this, and I've been doing that, and I've been paying attention to everything but you, everything but coming towards you, everything but apologizing to you, everything, oh, oh, this is so important, this is so important, oh, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. It's like when, it's like when you know that you have something, that you have something really important to do, but you don't really want to do it, and suddenly... Oh, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I, I, yeah, I gotta, I gotta do my taxes today. I gotta clean my whole house today. I gotta, you know, oh, I gotta go get that haircut today. Oh, I need to do yard work today. Oh, I have all this stuff to, and it's like, oh, but I gotta do this. I gotta do that. And I gotta do this. And I gotta do that. And I gotta do this. So that they don't have to work on this. It's like, oh, I'm gonna do everything else but work on this. I'm gonna do everything but come forward and apologize or I'm going to do everything but come forward and just tell you I have feelings for you I care about you and now that I see that you're walking away you're so attractive I feel you detaching and walking away I feel you pouring out my cup I feel you not lighting that candle you're blowing out that candle you don't have it burning for me anymore and with you they see their wish fulfillment walking away with you Hangman. Exactly. They've been putting themselves in this hangman. They've been holding up this whole time knowing that they had a two of cups for you. They knew the whole time that they had a two of cups for you, but they were doing, like I said, they were doing everything else under the sun, but yeah, hangman. Oh, I gotta do this, and I gotta do that, and I gotta do this, and I gotta do that. They also, while they were also doing all of that, they also had a whole bunch of karmic stuff they were going through too. They had towers and all this other stuff. Like legitimate stuff they did need to pay attention to. But they also knew that they were doing every little other, oh, oh, I got, oh, I got to get on my hands and knees and scrub my baseboards because they know they don't want to, it's like, oh, I knew, I, I know I need to make this phone call, but, 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 
I need to scrub these baseboards first. Oh, 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 but I, but I need to rearrange my closet. I need to go over to my mom's house and rearrange all her closets. Like, what? All because you don't want to make, all because you don't want to have a five minute conversation? Like, I mean, and you're getting stuff done, you know, getting stuff done that you've been needed to do, but you're just putting something, I'm hearing something so simple. It could be so simple, but you're putting it all on the back burner to do everything else. And then the more you concentrate on every, well, 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 I'll just, I'll just, I'll just do this and I'll just do this and I'll just do that. And the more you concentrate on that, the more spirit in the universe was like, okay, here's some more shit to pay attention to. Here's some more. And then, then it got real, right? Then they really had shit to worry, work on. Then they, then, 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 then they, then they're, oh, wait, wait, just wait. Wait, 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 just wait. No, I actually really, it's really, I really have legitimate stuff to do, but you, could you just wait? Could you just wait? And that's, the, that's kind of the vibe. It's like, oh my God. Like, I was fuck. it's like, I was messing around. I was playing around. But then, you know, and I was like, mm, when I'm done, five minutes, five more minutes, five more minutes, five more minutes. Oh my God, I got to do this. That's going to take an hour. Oh my God, I have to do that. That's going to take three hours. Oh, my God, I have to do that. That's going to take a month. Oh, my God. Like, I, I, I just, I just wanted, like, I just wanted, like, another day or two. But now, but now the schedule's all thrown off. And now I actually have all this legitimate stuff that I really have to do. And, and now this time, you know, now that I really want to walk towards you, I really want to do this. Now it's like, oh, I don't want to do this. Now, yeah, no, give me, give me just walking towards this person. Give me having that five-minute conversation. Spirit's like, nah, fam, you wanted to handle all this stuff. You said, but what about this? And what about that? And what about this? And what about that? Okay. Well, here's more of this. And here's more of this. And here's more of that. And here's more of this. And here's more of that. And now this person is like, I just, I just, I just wanted to take a little bit of time. I didn't want to. And Spirit's like, yeah, that's what you're doing. You're taking your time. Cool. This person's like, no, 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 I'm done taking my time now. Spirit's like, no, you're not. You're not done taking your time now. You want to take your time? Take your time. Here's all this other stuff you got to do first. And you got to do it. And this person's just like, oh my God. Like, Ten of Wands, like, oh my God. I just wanted to do two or three things before I left. And, and it was all because this person just didn't want to do the simple, the right thing. That's what Spirit, Spirit said. <laughs> I didn't even look at the bottom. I didn't even look at the bottom of the deck. It's towers. <laughs> yes it's karmic lessons for this person it's karmic lessons for this person because when spirit says go it's time to go and this person just said spirit was like hey tap 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 hey it's time to go it's time for you to go ah uh, nah spirit I gotta I'd rather go do this I'd rather go party with my friend ah uh, nah spirit I read you know I really gotta go do this and spirit's like tap 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 hey it's time to go and Nah, 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 it ain't time to go yet. Nah, nah, it ain't time to go yet. Next thing they know, it's another... <laughs> yeah, Spirit showed me a situation where a person is like, like, they're, like, somebody is like, get it, it's like, they rode with somebody to like a party or something like that, right? They're giving me the situation. And the person that drove with them is like, hey, came up to them, tap, 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 hey, in about five minutes, I'm gonna leave. Okay, you gonna be ready to go in five minutes? Yeah, 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 yeah. Five minutes came, hey, tap, 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 I'm ready to go. Oh, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. I just got to say goodbye to so-and-so. Okay, 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 okay. Standing over there, standing over there. They're still just messing around, partying, ha, 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 laughing it up. Ha, ha, yuck, 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 it up, right? And the person comes back over on their shoulder. Hey, tap, 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 like, hey, I'm really, like, seriously, I'm not trying, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to, to put a damper on the party, but, like, yo, if you riding with me, you got to go. Like, I'm leaving. Like, I got to go. Like, okay, 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 man, okay. Just just let me just let me go do this. I gotta go say goodbye to this bar. I gotta go do this, okay? Just, just please be patient with me. Like, okay, man, I'm, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get my stuff and I'm gonna meet you in the car. Okay, okay, I'm gonna meet you in the car. Five minutes, five minutes. Okay, five minutes, okay? Okay, okay, five minutes goes. This person, text them. Hey, I'm about to pull out for real. Like, I've given you so many chances like, if you are coming with me, come now. This person's like, bro, like, I'm on the way to the car. Like, I swear, I swear, I'm grabbing my stuff right now. 
to this person, put their phone back in their pocket and sat down and just kept talking and kept, man, they ain't leaving. They ain't leaving. They ain't leaving. They ain't going to leave me. They're fine. They're fine. They're fine. They're fine. People around them, don't you need to go? Don't you, in so-and-so waiting for you? No, nah, it's fine. It's fine. They ain't going to leave me. It's fine. It's, it's whatever. It's fine. Whatever. It's fine. Now they messed around and they suddenly look at the time. Oh, stop. It's been 20 minutes since they said they was leaving. I guess maybe I should really go now. Like, you know what? Like, all right, all right, fam. Like, I'm really going to leave now. I like, all right. It's like, oh, hey, didn't you come with so-and-so? Yeah, yeah, I'm about to go. Oh, they left. This person's like, what? Like, yeah, bro, they left. They pulled out. Nah, like, yeah, they left. They gone. Like, they, they sit outside waiting for you for like 20 minutes, dude. You know, they've been telling you for the past hour that they were leaving, but you kept, you kept messing around, like, and this person's like, no, nah, man, like, no, nah, man, like, I gotta go with them, like, well, I don't, I don't know what to tell you, like, maybe you should have took it seriously, maybe you should have took them seriously, maybe you should have took their boundaries seriously, maybe you should have showed them some respect, knowing that you were driving, that you were riding with them, and they told you, hey, bro, I'm leaving, I'm trying to, I'm trying to give you a fair warning here, but I'm leaving. Like, I got stuff to do. You know, I got my life to live. Like, hey, like my babysitter, you know, hey, my babysitter's texting me, calling me, t telling me it's time's up. Time's up, it's time's up. I'm not paying them for another hour. I got to go. I got life to live. And if you want to come with me, you better come. Okay, okay, okay. But they wanted to prioritize whatever it was they wanted to do. Whatever it was, it was, you know, but they, but, but they did not see how, them acting like that was a lack of respect on you, was a lack of respect on your journey, on your time, on what they were supposed to be doing. But now they want to come back around. Hey, man, wasn't I supposed to stay at your house tonight? Like They're calling you, texting you. Hey, wasn't I supposed to stay at your house tonight? Well, I'm gone. And my door is about to be locked in the next five minutes. So if you want to show up at my door, you better show up in the next five minutes. Otherwise, my door is locked and closed and you better find somewhere else to stay. <gasps> There's no way. There's no way. You live 20 minutes away. I can't make it there. If you had stopped messing around and taking me seriously, then you would have been in the car ride with us. Then you would have been there with us. I don't know what you want to say, but I just got all this other stuff to do, but I just, I, I just, okay, then take your time, do your stuff. I got a life to live too. And that, that's, yeah, now this person's, oh my God, I can't believe it. I can't believe they actually left me. Yeah. Now this person, like I said, now this person wants to drop these 10 wands and suddenly wants to be like, never mind, never mind. I ain't got all this stuff to do now. All this stuff's not important. You're what's important. Kind of. I don't want to miss the boat. I don't want to miss the, the ride. I don't want to miss the car. Wait, wait, wait. Just, just turn around. Just turn around and come back for me. What? What? Come on. Come on. You're only five minutes down the road. Just turn around. Turn around. Come back for me. No, nah, fam. I don't know, bro. You better make a pallet on the ground. <laughs> you better figure it out. I don't know what to tell you, fam. You better figure it out. I'm saying. <laughs> so Some of y'all is out there saying, like, bro, I wouldn't even have made it, waited that five minutes. Like, I told them, hey, in five minutes, I'm leaving. And I would have just walked out the door. I know people just like that, too. <laughs> okay. They would say, "Hey, I'm leaving in five minutes. You are okay. Meet me in the car in five minutes. If you want to go with us, you go with us. Okay." But this person waited and then they waited and they tapped on the shoulder and they waited and they waited. Okay, 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 okay. But now they want to. But now they want to take you seriously. Now when you want to walk away. Oh wait, you're really gonna walk away? And this, you know what, this and this devil card fell straight over that empress. Wait, no, stay with me. Bind yourself to me. 
<laughs> nah, fam. Fuck up. Nah, fam. I'm straight. Okay. I'm gonna get... I'm gonna 100%. Please clarify this devil card for me, please, spirit. Clear this devil card. Eight of Pentacles. For some of y'all, I don't think this person was, like, playing around or necessarily, like, dating around or, like, if, if this is a love situation, this could be a situation where this person, where you're just, like, this person could have been doing some kind of job or doing some kind of work or something. Like I said, for some of them, it wasn't, it wasn't all just playing around, you know? For some of y'all, the situation's like, oh, hey, I need you to come give me a ride. I need you to come pick me up from work. Like, okay. Like... Oh, I know I said I was gonna get off at seven, but my but my manager asked me if I'll stay till seven thirty. Will you please wait for me till seven thirty? Okay, I'll wait. I'll wait till you till seven thirty. Okay, okay, okay. So don't show up till seven thirty. Okay, okay, okay. Show up at seven. Okay, I'll go get something to eat or I'll go do something else, and then I'll you know I'll come pick you up at seven thirty. Okay, sitting out there at seven thirty, calling them, texting them. Are you off yet? Oh no, my job. And you're like, yo, this job, you know, is doing the most. This job has you, you know, has you. You know, you, you want to drag me into you over giving, you over sharing, you, sh you, you know, stretching yourself out then. You need to grow a backbone and tell, and tell this job, like, no, my family is important. No, no, my, my loved ones are important. I can't just come in and work double shifts all the time. And, and then what? But then, and then what? I'm leaving my, my wife or my partner. I'm leaving somebody else at home to take care of the kids, to do all the shopping, to do all the everything. But I feel like it's right because I'm going to job. I'm supposed to show up. I'm supposed to show up to my job. I want to stand out at my job. I want to get a raise at my job. And, you know, and we, need, we could use the hours. We could use my extra hours. Yeah, but I could also use you here at the home. Your kids are missing you. Your kids are growing up not even in front of your face. Hello? Hello? And for some of y'all, that's why this person feels like so, so like justified. Ugh, this person has such a block, blocked up throat shocker. This person needs to learn how to stand up for themselves. And one, this person, you know, let's go back to the to the to the party thing. For some of y'all. It's not that person sitting there going, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's other people around them. They'll be fine, they'll be fine. Here, 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 we want you to do this. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. Stay for one more song. Stay for one more song. Stay for one more drink. Stay for one more drink. They're fine, they're fine. They're going to leave you. They're going to leave you. Well, I guess. Yeah, you're right. But that's not to put the blame off the other person because, no, my ride's here. No, that's disrespectful. I have them out there waiting. I'm not going to do that. Like, I'm going to leave. I'll see y'all later. Bye. Okay. What did I say? Get in the car. I'll see you later. Bye. Hello? Isn't that clear? Isn't that clear? Because it's people that was causing this person obstacles. Okay? And suddenly I talked about, hello, get in the car, and it just got clear. Right? Third party. You know? Whether or not that's people, a job, this own person, it, whatever it is, it's this own person's tendency to put themselves or to put put themselves in a sense where they put other people over you or they put other people's wants and, they, and they're used to doing that because they put other people's wants or other in some situations some of them it's just them being selfish and just not thinking about you and for some of them it's them being selfish in a way to where they always put themselves on the back burner so if you're their partner or you're their person they expect you to put yourself on the back burner as a like you know, so it's like, no, you should just be okay with the fact that I put you on the back burner so I can, so I can work out at the, at the, at my job all the time, but they're in a job that they're not moving up in and that they're not seeing anything back for. And it's like, yo, like you are breaking your back, spending time away from your friends, from your family, you're missing your kid's life and you're burning me out as your partner, as your other half, because you're never around to help me do any of the daily tasks. You're never around to help me take care of the kids or you're never around. The, or, or even if, you know, you and this person don't have kids or something, it's like you're, ne you're not showing up for me. 
Like, we can't be in a relationship or we can't be here. Like, it's not enough for you to just say, it's not enough for you, not even just say, for you just feel feelings for me, but never show it or never say, let alone never say it. So this is the type of person, this could be like a workaholic or something like that, where they're like, instead of like feeling their emotions, they'll, they'll, they'll just go to work instead of feeling their emotions. Or they'll, or, or they'll, you know, they, they just work, 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 instead of allowing themselves. Because when they stop or they, or they go out with their friends all the time, they keep themselves constantly busy all the time. They constantly keep something playing in their ear all the time. They constantly keep their brain focused on something else instead of focusing on what they really should focus on, which is themselves, which is the work, which is the spiritual work spirit is asking them to do. And it might, like I said, it might be legitimate things like their family, their job, their friends and things like that, that need their attention, that need, that, need, that do need their focus, paying bills and doing that stuff. But at the end of the day, they can't just say, oh, well, this person knows I love them, but they never show up and they're never there and they're never spending time with you and they never actually tell you how they feel about you. But it's just, it's just spoken. It's just unspoken. We don't need to speak about it. I don't need to show up. I don't need to be there in your life. I don't need to take you seriously. But they're not stopping to think about what them not showing up for you, how that triggers you, how that, how that feels towards you. They're like, well, my job's calling me in all the time. Well, I need time. I need FaceTime, you know? Like, I need you being here. Like, we're not actually being together and being a couple if we're never together. Or if you never tell me how you really feel. Like, this isn't any... Nothing's really happening here. But it's like this person was like, you should just know. I shouldn't have to tell you. I shouldn't have to step forward. I shouldn't have to tell my job no to go on a date with you. For what? Uh... To prove to me that you have time for me, you know, to be there for me, to show up for me, just to spend time with me. You know, this is the type of person that might not tell you, if you were in a relationship with this person, they might not tell you, I love you. But they'll just pay the bills. They'll work all the time and pay the bills. But they don't ever spend any time with you and they're never home with you. And they don't ever take you out on any dates and they're never around you with you. They leave the house before you wake up in the morning and they come home and the only interaction you get with them is them kissing you on the cheek when they get in and out of bed. And they're like, uh, hello, like I'm working my ass off to pay all the bills and to provide my kids with everything. And you're like, but that's not, that's not everything. You know? I need you. I need a partner. I need you. I need your presence. It's not about, it's not just about your money or your coin or your pocketbook. If that's what it takes, you know, <laughs> we could trade down our cars. We can downsize our house. We don't have to have so many packets, so many sports packages and whatnot on, on the cable bill. We don't have to, we don't, you know, we don't have to go out to eat or we don't have to do this. We can cut back if that's what it would take for you not to work all the time. But it's not, it's not, this person says that it's about that, but it's not about that because this person would rather be working. It's very Capricornian energy, which is why this devil might be out here. But it is a devil energy in this person. It's a shadow energy in this person in the sense this person is just like, isn't that enough? I show you I love you like this. Isn't that enough? You know, you and this person might have very different love languages. And it's and it's like, you're, you're in a situation here where you're like, yeah, I get it. I get that you love me. But what good is, what, at the end of the day, what good is, is the money that you're making if you're never here to spend it with me? You know, if you're never here to spend quality time with me. For you, quality time. This person showing up, being there, being face to face, talking to you, spending time with you. Excuse me. Might be what you really want from this person. But to them, their quality of love is shown in how many bills they pay. You know, it's like, well, don't you like that gift? Well, yes, it's beautiful, but 
us spending time together would be a much better gift for me. Well, I work so hard. I work so hard all the time. Is, is, is what I give you is not good enough for you? It's not that the presents or the, the, the paying you bills is not good enough. Thank you. But I don't feel loved. I don't feel taken care of in the way that I need to. And this person has a really bad issue with acknowledging that there are different types of way that people show love and there are different types of love that people uh, ways that people need to be treated to feel loved and to feel taken care of. And this person thinks, well, I give you money, I pay bills. That should be enough, right? It doesn't matter if I'm if I never pay attention to you, if I never talk to you, if I never show up, if I never show up at any of the kids' games or I'm never around. But that's not everything. The money is not everything. Paying the bills is not everything. And right now, I don't. I don't know if this person, this person is going inside and seeing how important and, and how they let a pinnacle slip from their hand. They are going inside and seeing like, damn, like you really are a treasure that I really am letting slip through my fingers because I don't want to face these things inside of myself. But it's like this person is like, I just, do I really have to break down? Do I really have to tell you how I feel? Do I really have to do this? Like, yeah. You know, it's like this person is like, okay, I'm going to, well, why isn't it good enough for you? Why isn't I'm just trying so hard? Why isn't that not good enough for you? Which makes you back off, which makes you say, fine, fine, eight of cups, I'll walk away, fine. Because that makes you feel abandoned. That makes you feel triggered. That makes you feel like they don't acknowledge your cup. You're out there trying to give them a cup and, and it makes you feel like they're, they, they feel like you're knocking that cup. They're, they're extending a cup in the way they know how to extend a cup, Right? And you're extending a cup in the way that you know how to extend a cup. And it's not, and it's not the love language is that it's not the way either one of y'all were taught to acknowledge love. You know, and there has to be some give and take. There has to be some kind of give and take here. There has to be a little bit of acknowledging another person's perspective. But this person, like I said, this person has like a, a throat, a blocked throat chakra and they have an issue coming forward and telling you all of this and telling you how they really feel and them just saying it in a tarot reading right here is not a is not good enough they're gonna have to face this which is why i said look, look at them showing up they know the king the king energy they show up in king of pentacles they know they want to be with you they know they care about you they know they love you they know they're attracted to you Or they know they want to come off as reliable, steady, reliable. They know that they want to come off as financially responsible. And it's like this person was taught that, you know, money, money shows me love. Money shows me love. Going to work every day shows me love. Running yourself ragged into the ground shows, shows people that you love them and that you care about them. But you might come from a place where you're like, I would rather us have less so that I could have you more. So I could have more me and you time. So we could be together. We can take less trips if it means you don't cancel the trips at last minute and I don't have to go on vacations by myself. Or if it means what's a vacation when, you, when you're on your phone the whole time, working the whole time? What's a what is it? It's not a vacation. What is it that you're home every night, but you're sitting there on your phone or you're on your work phone or you got your, your laptop sitting there in front of you? Or even if you do eat, you sit there and you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got to go back. I got to go back to work or I got I to gotta go back in the office. I got other deals to make. And you're just like, okay, I'll just take care of everything else. I'll just do all the shopping, all the, all the everything. 
I'll just plan and organize everything. I'll just keep up with the house and do everything else, plus work my job. And this person doesn't realize that in this way, they're abandoning you. Because they, they're like, how can you feel abandoned? I pay for everything, or I work so hard, or I have all this and I can provide for you. And they're just, and you're just like, I, that's not everything to me. I love you, not the money. And I understand we live in a 3D world that, you know, that we have to pay to live and to pay to survive, but what good are these things when, I, when I'm just here by myself in a lonely house by myself? Or I'm a, par I'm a parent who's burnt out taking care of everything else by myself while you just work. Yeah, this is a, ju a judgment energy. This is judgment day for this person. Like, It's like, do you want to stay stubborn and fix in your ways and lose this person? Is that what you want to do? You don't, you don't want to finally get to a place where you can open up and have open communication? Well, it's just not the way I was raised. Okay. Then go be with somebody that's okay with you being that way. If, that's, if, that, if this is truly who you are, this is truly who you want to be, bless. And be okay with the person that's fine never seeing you and never talking to you. And they'll just go and spend your money and they'll just be fine that you're never there. Because... To this empress, there is no nurture there. It's like this person is consumed like with consumerism, with spending, spending money. Like that matters. It, it feels like that matters more to you than me, than being there for me. Only seeing things tunnel vision from your perspective makes me the villain. Makes me feel cut off. Makes me feel like you're rejecting my cup. Makes me feel like I'm not good enough for you. Because you don't ever want to be around me. Yeah. So I guess this is over. And it's this lack of seeing things from other people's perspective. That's causing this tower. It's this ideology. It's this, this thought process that's causing this tower moment here. Person, eight of cups in reverse. They do not want you to walk away because why? You're my wish fulfillment. Not it's the same up here. If the freaking if the freaking Knight of Pentacles is back here, I'm gonna flip. Yeah. Eight of cups in reverse. Please don't walk away. You're my wish fulfillment. I see a future with you. My intuition, my gut, everything inside of me is telling me. High Priestess, that you're the one for me. Queen of Cups. You're my Queen of Cups. I love you. Please don't walk away from me. Please don't walk away from this. But this person is just saying, please don't walk away from me. Okay, do you want to change? Uh, can you just not walk away from me? Okay, can you change? Uh, is this person trying to change spirit? Ace of Wands, slowly. I feel like really slowly this person is going inside King of Cups. But they're really having a really hard time with this emotion stuff, with this facing their emotions, with this facing, you know, healing themselves, facing their shadow side, the sun. It's it's being illuminated to them. It's almost as if you being like it's like a person being like, it's like coming, it's like Say, say this is like a husband and a wife. Okay, we'll just say this is a partner. Well, it doesn't even have to be a husband. You know, overlook the genders. Let it apply to you as it does, right? This is a married couple. One of the partners comes to them over and over again and says, I need things to be different. I need things to change. I need things to change. You're fine. You're fine. You're overreacting. You're this. You're that. And one day, this person comes home 
and they just lay down divorce papers in front of them. What, what's that? It's divorce papers. You gotta be joking. I'm not joking. How many times have you, how many times have you come home and I've been like, I need to talk to you. I need you. I need you to show up in my life. I need this. I need that. How many times do I have to tell you what I need? But this and but that, but this and but that. Yes, I understand that. But you won't even compromise with me. And it's like taking like this dramatic, like, oh my God, like, this person's really going to leave me. This person's really going to get divorced from me. This person's really packing up their stuff and they're leaving. Like, yeah, my stuff's already packed. Like, what? Yeah, like me and the kids' stuff is already packed up. There's the divorce papers. I'm serving it to you right in front of your face. So you can know. This is not for play. I'm not just being dramatic. I'm serious. This is not the life I want to live. And if you want to stay hell-bent in your old ways then I'm, I'm going to just let you be who you want to be. But I'm going to go and be who I want to be. And it's literally, and it's not, it, it, it's really, really not, like I don't feel on this Ember side, like I don't feel any, yeah, that's what you get. It doesn't even feel like that. It's just like literally like, okay, I've asked you a thousand times to change. Or I've, you know, and, and I've just come to the realization, like stop asking somebody to change because they clearly don't want to. If they wanted to, they would. I've asked you a thousand times. I've expressed to you what I need. I've, ex you know, I've given you chance after chance after chance. Like I told you, I'm leaving. I got a life to live. I got stuff to do. I'm not going to be sitting out in the car waiting for you to decide when you want to turn around and look at me or when you want to turn around and, and take it seriously. But that's what it's really taking. Again, it took you leaving for this person to be like, wait a minute. Like, you're really serious. Like, yeah, I'm really serious. And this person still didn't take you seriously at first. Which is why they were like, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come back. Stop playing. Like, I, I get your point. Okay, you made your point. Turn around and come back. No. Why are you acting like that? Why are you going to be like that? Then came the eight of wands. Arguing, fussing, fighting. Why are you going to act like slam? Exactly. Arguing, fussing, fighting. Five of Wands. But now, <laughs> now this person sees you're, you know, it's like, oh, you're trying to do this. You're trying to be so extra. You know, oh, you're just salty. You're just mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You can think anything you want to. Whatever. They'll come back. They'll come back. They'll come back. They'll come back. Any moment now, they're coming back. And there they have. They sat at that on the porch, the front porch of that party house all night long waiting for you to come back and now the sun's rose the sun's rising it's a brand it's a new day and you still ain't there you ain't answer the phone you ain't calling you ain't calling them back you ain't texting them back i said what the fuck i said shit i think this person's serious You had to show up and show your strength. You had to be like, I'm serious. But at the end of the day, it's like, okay, I can't force anybody to change. I can't force you to be somebody that you're not. I can say, okay, I love you. I support you. I care about you. But we just can't be together. Because if you don't want to change, if you want to blame, and you want to trigger, and you want to point fingers, and you want to project, okay, I got to just walk away. Because at some point, you have to stop. You have to, you have to stop and realize that a person is going to, a person wants to be who they are. And sometimes you have to realize that you have to love a person for who they are and not ask them to change. And you can love them over there. I love you. Stay over there. I'm not asking you to change. I'm not asking you to give this up. You want to be married to your job? Go be married to your job. You want to be go go and be married to this addict to whatever to these addictions to this whatever it is. Go be that person that you want to be. 
I, I hope the best for you. I'm not asking you to change anymore. Oh, thank God. I'm just leaving. Wait a minute. You can't make somebody be something they don't want to be. And you can't make somebody see your perspective. All you can do is show them your boundaries and bounce them off them. I'm hearing this person say you're being dramatic. <laughs> Again, this person still kind of feels like you're being dramatic. Like, you're making a show of it. This person still kind of thinks you're making a show of it. For some of you, if you know that you served like an ex-partner with divorce papers or something like that, through this whole process, y'all going, y'all go back and forth, y'all getting lawyers, y'all go into court. This whole time, this person was like, any second now, they're going to stop playing. Any second now, they're going to stop playing. And then they are there. Okay, this is the last day. We're signing the divorce papers. Judge ruling is coming out today. This person is literally sitting there like, oh my God, like they're... This is real. Like, yes, it's real. Like, this person is, like, they're in shock almost. They're like, they're really divorced. Are they really leave? Like, is this real? You're really breaking up our family? Like, bro, where have you been? Where have you been? See, this is the shit I'm talking about right here. This is it. I've been telling you, take me seriously. Take what I say seriously. Take this relationship seriously. Take our love seriously. Take my wants and my needs seriously. And you've been so caught up in a delusion. And this person is, is caught up in that delusion because facing this truth would be painful. And this person just does not want to face the emotion. They don't want to face it. They're like, you're not really leaving, are you? Like, yes. Yes, like the, the, the judge is about to make the final call. The gavel's about to come down and we're about to officially be divorced. Like, are you, are you okay? Like you're really, really, really living a delusion. Like you really don't get it. <laughs> That's why I say I'm hearing some like feminine say, see, this is the shit I'm talking about. Like you don't listen. Like you're so stubborn and you're so set in your ways. And you don't want to see things from my perspective. And I get it. I get it. It's hard to overcome your child the way you were raised. I get it. It's hard to overcome these old paradigms. It's hard to overcome. You're like, oh, I've been this way 20, 30, 40, 50 years of my life. It's never too late. What's worth it to you to change? Is the love of your life worth changing for? But if you really don't want to change, don't ask me to stay and compromise what I really want. Don't ask me to be unhappy because you don't want to change. Cool. We can, You can stay exactly the way you are because that makes you happy. And I can leave and go be with a person or go be the person that I want to be that I can't be with you. Don't ask, don't ask me to stay. Don't be selfish like that and ask me to stay, but you know, you when you know you don't want to change, when you know you don't want to be somebody different, and you know that I need to be with somebody that you cannot be for me. Don't ask me to stay. Don't ask me to compromise my happiness. Because where is the real love there? Is it real love? Yeah, they're, they're showing me like that you're like a flower to this person. But instead of planting you in a pot, you know, they just clipped you and put you in a vase and thought, wow, this is going to be really beautiful until it dies. You know? They're showing me like you being like a caged bird or a caged butterfly. Like, oh, let me catch this butterfly. Put it in a little cage. Oh, this is so beautiful. But it's withering, you know, because it's not free. And this person is like, you're so beautiful and I just want to, I just want to cage you. I just want to have you. Yeah, look, 
You're, look at you even holding that flower right there. It's so beautiful. Well, you should have planted a garden and let me grow in the garden instead of plucking me. Because it's kind of like this, where, like I said, this person would rather pluck you and have you for, for just a week as opposed to putting in the work to plant and to grow and to water and to have you bloom, to have you continue to bloom and be able to actually live live your life. They'd rather pluck you and have you burn brightly for just a little bit of time with them as opposed to see you go be with somebody else who will actually nourish you and be there for you and show up for you. I'd rather I'd rather you see me, I'd rather see you wilt with me than flourish with somebody else. I'd rather see you wilt with me than flourish with somebody else. And that's not real love. That's not real love. tower there it is that realization is what really bought this tower down i love them i love them they love me do they that's what start started these cracks in this foundation do they look how they treat you look how they want to yeah do they Yeah. Spirit asked me, do they really? Do they really love you? And that's what Spirit is, is asking this person. Examine the way, one, the way you show up and the way you expect other people to show up for you. This is not a real unconditional type of love. I love you. As long as you're here with me. I love you as long as I have you. I want you to flourish as long as you're with me. I want you, but I want to give you the type of love, not the type of love you need, the type of love I want to give you. And I don't care about the way you want to be loved. And it's not necessarily this person doesn't care. They just... They just don't want to change. They just don't see. It's almost like they don't see the value in acknowledging the way you want to be loved. It's, it's like this person's like, I can't see from other people's perspectives or like, I can't, I can't put myself in your shoes and see like, oh, oh, you need me. Oh, I feel like this is love, but you feel like that's love. Oh, so really, when I show up like this, you really don't feel loved. Oh. That's not, it's not there. Temperance in reverse. There is disheart. There is permanent disharmony here between you and this person. And I feel like, it's, like I said, because you've really come to the realization, this isn't real love. This is crumbs. This is a conditional type of love. And this person might feel intense love for you but it is a karmic type of love it is a i want to love you the way i want to love you and then to double down on top of that this person is like even though i can't love you the way you need to be loved i'd still you rather choose me over somebody else choose dissatisfaction with me over satisfaction with somebody else. <laughs> Which is exactly why you said, uh, no. Bounce off my boundaries. This whole situation with this person definitely caused an awakening in here and a transformation within you. It did. It caused this awakening. And, and eventually, whenever... If or when this person is ready to see it, but then that's the thing. I think they are going to see it, but they are far from it. They are a night at most. But on an average day, they're still a page. And you're all the way, 
and you're up here an empress. At most, this person is still showing up as a page. Are they going to get there? Yeah, eventually. But it could be another 10, 15, 20 years down the road. <laughs> and you got a whole brand new cycle starting for you. Your, start, your cycle is starting now. And I think it started for you because you because you've had this tower moment because you've really realized. You've really realized, I'm an empress. I need a I need a real emperor. I need somebody who's ready. You see your value. Because before, even if it was subconscious, thank you, spirit. Before, even if it was subconscious, you felt like you you had to stick around or stay bound to this person for some reason like you felt like oh i i have to to be with this person they love me they truly love me and i truly love them we have to stay together we have to make this work even though you're trying to make it work and it's just like beating your fist on a brick wall like come on like work with me work with me work with me work with me why when you could turn around and you see that there's a whole world full of people who don't have that brick wall up, who are ready to acknowledge your worth, who will be happy to tell you, I love you, I care about you, I'll show up for you, I'll be here for you. How do you need to be loved? This is how I need to be loved. How do you need to be loved? Okay, let's work it out. There's billions of people out here in the world. And there's plenty of people out there that are willing to work, especially work with an empress. Are you joking? Come on now. Come on now. And doing all this work is really is really healing your heart. It's, it's pulling them swords out of your heart. And you're healing from this person, from dealing with this person, from... from I really feel like you're healing because you dealt with this person and because you chose to evolve out of this karmic cycle with this person. Mm -hmm. And it just, it's still, it just doesn't match, right? You've got to where you're over it. You're you're walking away. You're looking at other options. And this person is just now saying, oh, I see a future with you. It's just, it's not aligning. It's really not aligning on any on any level. And not in a sense that this person is not, not good enough for you or anything like that. It's not, it's not like that. I don't feel like this person can give you what you need. They're not ready to be with you. They know that they want to. They know they want to be with you. That doesn't make them ready to be with you. Because I'm sure you're plenty of people out there as wish fulfillment. Okay? There's plenty of people that look at you like a queen of wands, like an empress. Like a queen, a queen of pentacles. But this person really doesn't believe. This person genuinely genuinely was like they won't leave like the spirit just keeps saying delusional like this person's like they won't leave me they won't move on they'll come back they'll get over it they'll be mad for a little bit and then everything will be okay it'll be fine it's fine i'll just you know and not saying that this person's not growing and they're not learning other karmic lessons they are but in the sense of the two of y'all working on the main issue that's keeping y'all from coming together. Like I said, this person just keeps looking at everything else, working at everything else. So every other part of their life might look like gold, just beautiful, immaculate. But emotionally,
being able to really show up and be the person that you need to be with, there is disharmony here. Yeah, I just keep I keep hearing two people say, I need what I need. It's like a feminine voice. It's like, I need what I need. And then a masculine voice is saying, I am who I am. Okay. I need what I need. This person up here is like, I need what I need. Well, I need what I need. Well, I need what I need. Well, you're not what I need. Well, you're not what I need. Okay. Wait. Stop. But you are what I need. No. <laughs> you are what I need. No. I, I might be what you I, I might be what you want. But I don't think I'm what you need. And even if I am what you need, you're not what I need. Well, that's a blow. That's a blow to this person's ego. And it's gonna cause an ego death in this person. It's gonna cause a transformation inside this person. Yeah, and really, honestly, on a soul, soul level, you've really been helping this person. This person is overcoming these toxic generational mindsets. Like I said, this person was raised to believe this way. This way is the type of love that you give. This type of conditional love is the type of love. That's love. And you're like, no. And I feel like you might have even been raised in this conditional love. You might have even been raised to have, you know, to accept conditional love. But you're like... But I, I see what this is. This is conditional love. This person's like, no, I love you. You, Yeah, I get it. But you love me conditionally. You love me as long as I accept you for exactly who you are right now. Okay. I And I do accept. And this person's like, yeah, you can't accept me? And it's like, I, I just don't, I, I really honestly don't think that I can. This is just not what I need. This is not what I want in a partner. This is not what I want in a partnership. It's just not. Then this person has an ego response. Oh, you're crazy. I got hoes. I got, you know, I got be I got people everywhere wanting to be with me. I got every I got people everywhere wanting to work with me. Okay. Okay. Right? Then you got options. You got choices. Then it doesn't matter if I walk away. And it's like, no matter what this is, like every single time this person has an ego response, it just pushes you further away. And it's because this person doesn't want to stop and look inward. They're starting to. They're starting to. Like, now, compared to what they used to be, wow, this person truly has changed compared to what they used to be. They really have. They've come a distant, a distance ways, but they're, they're still not the person that you need. And honestly, at the end of the day, it's really up to you. If you want to wait around for this person, if you want to keep giving this person chances, because at the end of the day, it's your journey. It's your choice. It's your partner. Or it's your, it's your friend or it's your people that you have around you. It's your choice. Excuse me. Has this person grown a lot in y'all's separation? Yeah. Has this person got, grown a lot from going through this? Yeah, but so have you. Shit and spirit just keeps showing me it's like it's like you're here and this person's here but it's like you're both growing and it's like no matter how much this person grows 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 you're still they're still not they still not equally yoked to you they're still not what you need and that doesn't mean this person's not a good person it doesn't mean this person's not a loving person it doesn't mean this person's not good enough it's not about that some people just aren't our people, right? Not every person is going to be your person. And I just, honestly, you know, 
And this person just doesn't feel like your person. But I do feel like this person will tell you, I'll change. I get what I get what you're saying now. I get it. Wait, wait, wait. Let's not sign. Let's not sign. They're going back to that divorce paper. They're showing me somebody run like running over as the, as you're signing. They're like, stop. I'll change. I'll change. And you're like, what? Like I promise I'll change. Or it's like them running up. I quit my job today. You did what? I quit my job today. I gave it all up for you. Uh. Why are you doing this? Like. And I feel like you almost feel like more triggered by them doing that. Cause it's like, why did it, I shouldn't have even had to have taken me getting this long, getting, getting, going through all this. Yeah. And it's literally like this person's like, wait, stop. Don't, don't leave. I'm not ready. And I can't give you what you want right now, but don't leave. Just stop. Don't sign those papers. Don't end this contract. Come back, come, 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 come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. I get your point. I get your point. You made your point. Come, 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 come. And that's at the stage where this person is right now. Which is why, <laughs> right here at King of Swords, Queen of Swords, King of Swords, right? That's who y'all were in the very beginning of this. And in a love reading, or in if you're reading the energy between two people, and they come and one party comes out as the king of swords and one party comes out as the queen of swords. It's because those people are not seeing eye to eye and it's incompatible. Also in a love reading can also mean people that are getting a, like straight up who are getting a divorce. You doing this is showing this person themselves. It's holding up a mirror to who they really are and how they really love people. Because somewhere in the back of their mind, they're like, damn, you really do love me. I know that you love me. But you really are leaving. Like, I, I, I really know. And that's, and that's what kept this person living in that delusion. Like, you're not going to leave because I know that you really, I know that you really have true love for me. I know that you do. But you're still leaving. Yeah, like that's how that person's like, what? What do you mean? You're really leaving? Like, yeah, I really do love you. I know, so stay, no. Just because I love you doesn't mean that I'm going to stay with you. This is deep, dude. Oh, bro, this is so deep. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I had to tell that little joke at myself. I'm just like, oh, this is deep, dude. <laughs> but seriously, though, this is really, really deep. And I feel like that's the realization that you've had. You're just like, yeah, I do love you. But You know, and if you don't feel that way, maybe, I don't know, maybe this is not your reading or maybe just that part of the energy is not your reading. Maybe you're you're the majority or the minority, maybe. Maybe you're the minority in the reading and you actually are like, I don't know, like if this person changed, maybe. But it's this, it's this energy of getting sucked back in because this person is really realizing they're losing you. They're really, really realizing that they're losing you. But in doing this, like I said, here, with this hangman, I told you, right? This person's in the hangman. They put themselves in the hangman position. And look, here you are. You're giving them water. You're trying to, you know, it's like, yo, are you still in the hangman, though? Are you going to cut yourself down? It's like, you know, I can't make this 20-mile trip every day to go and and go and bathe in the spring and go and bring you water because you want to stay in the hangman because you want to take forever to come to the realization like damn I need to change like or damn I need to grow up or damn like maybe I need to face these things inside myself maybe maybe there is something to this maybe there maybe maybe this person you know like oh damn like maybe this is real like maybe I should take it seriously 
And like I said, it is a toxic generational mindset that this person is overcoming. And you're helping this person to do this by by coming as you come to this realization, this person that's why I said this person is being drawn into match and feel the way that you feel. And there's still some fight left in this person. There's still some resistance left in this thinking for this person. They are working on it. They have changed a lot. They have, but five, five of wands is still there. There's still chaos and conflict here, though. This person feels very conflicted in their mind and in their heart. Because one minute they're like, I know this person loves me. Why would they do this? That you know, and they're and they kind of go back and forth between like, damn, maybe I do need to look at myself. And then they swing back to, no, this person is just being, this person is just being so extra. Why? Why? And that's this kind of back and forth, back and forth. And this might sound familiar to you, right? <laughs> you might have been like, yeah, this is exactly the stage I was in about a year or two ago. Why? Why? Why are you ignoring me? Why are you rejecting me? Why aren't you showing, you know, like, why can't you pay attention to me? Why? Like, why aren't you acknowledging the way, you know, acknowledging this? Like, what's going on? Like when I'm telling you, hey, I'm serious, put down the phone, I need you to pay attention to me. Hey, I'm serious, and you just blew me off a thousand times. What? What did you think was going to happen? They didn't think that you would find your self-respect. And they didn't think that you would find enough respect to walk away. So that's disrespectful. And they know. And there's something about that. There's something about them knowing you really, really do love them. You really do care about them. You really do. You're like, yeah, like I really care about you. I really love you, but I'm still going to walk away. And there's just something so powerful in that to this person. And if it's not yet, it is like, it's like a ticking time bomb in this person's head. Like it's finally just going to, and it's tick, 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 tick. And it's just going to finally like, boom, like, oh, snap. I need to freaking go inside. And I need to work out my shit. I need to figure this shit out. I need to figure me out. I need to go inside and I need to heal. I need to look at me. I need to take I need to take my ass down there to the well and dip into the well. Because that's what I was seeing. I was seeing the star card when I was talking about you dipping into the well. Right? And for a long time, you were the one dipping into the well, getting healing. And then this person was kind of... I don't want to say leeching, but kind of like, it was basically like, oh, I'll let you do all the healing. And then once you're healed, I'll be healed too. You you can do all the healing for the both of us. It's that kind of energy. Like, come down, get the fuck down, stop playing around. Get down out of that tree and you and you go make your trip to the healing waters. Right? You you go make your, your trip to the healing waters and go figure it out. So that you can come back a, a wise man with the star energy, figuring your shit out. King of Wands in reverse. This person didn't want to look at their karmic energy. This person didn't want to look at their their sides of themselves, their, their shadow energy that they needed to heal. <laughs> the moon. Like I said, they wanted that, they wanted it to remain hidden. But it's coming out. And it's overwhelming them. Two of Cups in reverse because you're walking away from this. There is no more hiding these emotions. There is no more hiding how they really feel. You know, this is reminding me of a podcast I was watching the other day that was, the podcast was like a, a Am I the Asshole? And it was about this lady that was writing in saying like, oh, you know, my ex-husband is getting married. We have kids together. We've had, all of us have had such a good relationship together. I wanted to go to their wedding. And the lady felt like her her ex-husband's new wife started wiling out. I mean, it came out that she wore, that she wore basically like a wedding dress to their wedding. 
So it turned out that there was a little, that there was, she was doing some, you know, some messed up stuff that caused the wife. But it's almost like that situation because it, it, what it's reminded me really of is the discussion the people on the podcast were having about it, which was sometimes like everything can seem okay. And it takes to that moment where you're like, oh my God, like it's really over. Like my ex is moving on. They're getting married to somebody else. And as much as you might think in your head, like, of course, yeah, they're over. We're divorced. We've been divorced for years. It's fine. But there's something so final about this. There's something so final about you really laying it down, signing the papers, walking away, moving out, dating somebody, going out there, dating other people, moving on, talking about being with other people, dating other, it's final, really finalizing it in this person's mind and their heart. And they're just like, no, it can't be so. Like, I really genuinely thought this person would never move on from me. Like, I never thought they'd get over me. Like, I always thought, thought they'd get over it and figure this shit out and come back. Yeah. This person standing at a distance from you. Like, oh my God. Like, watching, like, whoa, really, really, for real? Same cards are coming out. Page of Wands. Oh, I might need to do something about this because... I see a future. I see my future changing. They see you with the world walking into a new cycle, leaving the cycle with them behind. For some of you, this is going to be a karmic. I'm, just, I'm not even going to lie. For some of you, this is going to be like a karmic ex or like a karmic friend or something like that. And they really see you going out there and living your life without them. And they're like, wait a minute. Yeah, and I just heard for some of you, this person, this person could be out there dating other people, could have other people. But they just, it really is hitting their ego that you're, that you're like really rejecting them. And that what? Will of Fortune and the Emperor, that you're going towards your match. Is eating this person up. Is eating this person up the world. Like I said, you have a brand new cycle coming and for some of you, this is a karmic ex or a karmic person from your past that's like, oh my God, I can't believe you're actually getting over me, moving on from me, putting putting to bed this five of cups energy and, and really actually moving on and growing up and moving on and, and like going to get married or going to go do something with something like what? You're really actually going to choose and go, go forward and go choose to be with your emperor? What? Like you're really going to do that? Yeah, this is like that weird psychological stuff where like, like I said, you know, like, or like say we ha we did a bunch of readings like last year, probably like about, no, it was later. It was like later in the year. It was like sometime like late, um, late summer, fall time where I was putting out readings where I was talking about how there was a masculine out there who was dealing with a karmic who they had like a child with who was suddenly trying to come back into their life and, and trying to cause issues because they saw this masculine moving on and marrying somebody else or like moving on and dating somebody else. And then they were just like, oh, I got to meet him. Oh, 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 they can't be around my child. Oh, uh, uh, you know, causing all this issues. And it's kind of like that where it's like, you think it's over. You think you don't have an issue. But then when you see this person actually moving on and being with somebody else, it stirs up some kind of like, it really hits your ego and you're like, oh my God, like it's really actually over with me and this person. So maybe I need to go back in. Maybe, oh, maybe I miss them. Maybe I do love them. Maybe I do want to be with them. And in that situation, it was a karmic trying to entice a masculine, like an emperor to come back because they were starting to date or starting to date or wanting to be with an empress. And that karmic was like, what? No, like, <laughs> what? No, stay trapped in this mental prison with me. Like, no, you're, you're never supposed to get over me. I'm supposed to always be the one that got away. No, you're not supposed to go on and move on and marry somebody else and be with somebody else. You're supposed to pine and, and miss me forever. That's what that energy was like with that, in those readings that I was doing. And in this reading, I feel like it's an empress who has a karmic masculine energy being like, wait a minute. You're really getting over this? You're really healing? You really don't, you really don't want a relationship with me? For some of y'all, for some of y'all, I don't know. 
I don't know. I hesitate to say this. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, wait. You were supposed to stay daydreaming and caught up on me forever. I just heard it was supposed to be death to us part. Yeah, for some of y'all, this is like an ex. Like you were somebody that you were married to. And you, you're you really leaving this person. Or you are really moved on from this person. For, I mean, and, and that's the crazy thing for some of y'all. Y'all have been like, for some of y'all, I'm really getting that y'all have been... There's a big ass moth outside my window. It just caught my eye. It's like a big Luna moth. Ooh. Yeah. I'm telling y'all, for some of y'all, oh, now it's at this window. Oh, dude, it's huge. It's not a Luna moth, but it's a huge ass moth. And it's just here banging out my window all of a sudden. Yeah. Out of nowhere. Oh, it is a Luna Moth. My bad. It is a Luna Moth. Oh. It's, it's it's pretty big. I have gotten some huge moths at my house. Like, there was a there was a Luna Moth that lived at my house, like, last year. Um, And it was, like, probably, like, this big. I'm not even playing with you. It was huge. It, it's, its wingspan was, like, almost as big as my head. And I got a big head, y'all. <laughs> Yeah, so it could literally, yeah, it's like the past, like, look, oh, yeah, you shot, yes, right, this, this moth is here, boom, 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 at my window, because they see this bright light shining in here in my kitchen, and you're shining bright like this light, like the sun, you're shining bright like the sun, shining up like a new penny, you see yourself, oh, my God, a big old golden, beautiful piece here, so beautiful, Empress, wait a minute. The Empress is actually moving on. Wait, I'm in love with them. I've been in love with them this whole time. Or, you know. This is not love for all of y'all. Like, as in romantic love. For some of y'all, this is like a friend or something like that. Somebody that's realizing that, like, they've done something that's really made you really, like, walk away from them and not want to be with them anymore. Not, like, not see them in the same way. And, and it's just like, you're just like, we're not equal yet. Like, it's just not the same, like. It just can't go, things can't go back. Things were said that can't be unsaid. For some of y'all, it might be, it might be multiple people that is having this realization about you, which is why there might be so, you know, I was going on for so long about it because for some of you, you know, this is love, this is friends, this is family or something like that. You know, it's like, really like you put up a boundary here with somebody or some, or, you know, with somebody in your life. Yeah. It's just soulmates in general. Spirits, spirits said, yeah. Just soulmates in general in your life. Somebody, karmic soulmate, family soulmate, romantic soulmate. I wonder if y'all can hear it. Like banging against my screen on my window. My cat hears it. Just bang, bang. I was like, wait, 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 wait. Let me come back into the light. Let me come back. Huh. Look at that. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I'm the King of Cups now. I know how I feel about you. Don't end this. I feel betrayed. And for some of y'all, this is a this person is planning a betrayal, but it's a subconscious betrayal. They really don't under they don't they don't really get that they're that they're gonna betray you with with this action, with coming back towards you as a betrayal of you. Especially if this person's like a karmic lover from your past, like they, they just don't get it. They don't get that they're being karmically drawn back into you to, to hold you back from starting your new cycle. <coughs> oh, yeah. That karmic tie between the two of y'all. It's got planting ideas in their head like, oh, I need to come back towards this person. It's like I said. The sun. They know who you are. They've known who you are. Queen of Cups, Knight of Cups. And their intuition is weighing so heavily on them. They're getting so many mess so many messages about how they did you dirty. And about how it's like Yeah. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and end this because we're just getting the same cards. We're just getting the same message. There's not really any new information coming out. Like, but that's pretty much it. 
two hours later that's pretty much it that oh just that, that's all just that little bit but but yeah <laughs> that's really what it is and I know for some of y'all y'all are like no nah, no nah, I don't want this person to come towards me I don't want nothing to do with them well don't concentrate on what you don't want <laughs> okay because the more you concentrate on how you don't want this person to come towards you, the more likely they are to come towards you. So don't concentrate on what you don't want to manifest. Concentrate on what you do want to manifest. So if you're manifesting a new lover, concentrate on your new lover. Concentrate on yourself. Concentrate on building yourself up. Concentrate on getting yourself ready. Concentrate on healing yourself, right? Glowing up and being the empress and looking beautiful, okay? Because that manifestation is coming, okay? Which is probably exactly why this person feels the need to come towards you and suddenly speak the truth. Oh, the truth is, I've loved you this whole time. Yeah, I've been done, I've been done new. Like I like I, I know I know that you do. I've been known for the longest time that I should not have treated you the way. Yeah, uh, I really appreciate you coming forward and telling me that. So we can be friends again? Not really. Not really interested. I just I just don't see this going anywhere. I just don't see us. We're just different people. Have you grown? Yes, I think you have grown. But that doesn't mean that I want to be with you. Yeah, the lovers. It's the choice. Because you know, you got a choice. You really, really do. So you can choose to turn back around and, and go and give this and go be with this person. Or you can choose to move on and... Go be with somebody else. Either way, you're going to end up getting some kind of justice for yourself, but so yeah, Spirit's saying we're going to work, we're going to work out things for you either way, but you got to be ready. Oh, uh, they finally decided to stop like bang, 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 bang into my window and just, they just clung on to the screen and they're just sitting there just quivering and shaking and so yeah I, I feel like that's that's what's going on this person is just like please don't like it was going around to all my different windows just so it tired itself out and then it's finally just sitting there just staring at the light <laughs> which I would which is what I feel like this person might end up doing this person is literally like I fumbled like I fumbled it was 142, 42, so, so uh, number 42, the age 42, um, the number 42, seven, yeah, seven, that's, that's about, uh, awakenings, <laughs> awakenings, karmic lessons, learning, and developing, changing, yeah, which, you know, in the end, I feel like, you don't have as much like anger or pain or anything like that towards this person. You're kind of just softening about it, which is which is maybe why this person energetically feels like more safe to come to come into you. Yeah, it is a Luna moth. Oh, they're so beautiful. Um, that maybe that's why this because they're they don't feel so much anger or pain or like f you. I can't believe you're acting like this. You know. So, so now this person feels safer to come in. But, you know, you feel much less attached to this person. You feel very detached from this person. You feel very like, okay, well, I'm just not as in, I'm just not, you know, now that I've healed and I've taken the time and I've done the work on myself and I've seen what the triggering and everything was, like, I just see this is not going to work. And like I said, don't let me you know, put that into your mind or anything like that. If you feel like you really want to work things out with this person, do you, right? But I think that for a lot of you, you know, only let it resonate if it does, if, it, if you're already feeling that way for you, you know? And so I feel like for a lot of you, you're like, I'm good, you. you good. I mean, it's not okay. What you did is not okay, but I see why you did it. I've grown a lot from, from this happening. So, 
Yeah. Yeah, I'm very proud of you. I'm very proud of all the work. That, I, I can see a lot of work. I see a lot of detachment here. I see a lot of learning and growing in a separation here. I see a lot of, you know, mm, maybe it's just not going to work. Maybe it's just not right right now. Maybe it's just not. Mm. But I feel like you should be honest about what you're really feeling like with this person, right? You know? And, and I feel like how honest you are with this person, like how much you divulge or how, how vulnerable you are with this person, I feel like for some of you, for some of you, especially if these people, if you know these people are like abusive or manipulative, like karmic ex coming back towards you, excuse me, you know what it is. I don't have to tell you that. You know, we've all grown enough on this channel, you know what it is, Right? For some of y'all, you need to leave these people on like on red, <laughs> or not. Don't even get to being on. Not don't even get to being on red because you blocked them. For some of y'all, y'all block these people, and you're like, no, nah, I don't even care. And they're gonna see that boundary that you put up was a block. Like they blocked. Like nah. Like I'm good. I don't need your sorry. You good? Stay over there. <laughs> and you know, and for some of these people, maybe you're more open to at least having a conversation with them or something like that. I don't know. But let it resonate as it does for you. You know your you know your situation. You you know what you need to do. You know, listen to your intuition. Stay grounded. Yeah. And and I want to give you this caution for 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 some of you. If this person has an egotistical response and they want to try to argue with you, they want to try to fight with you, they want to try to project on you, they have like a hurt ego response, do not engage with this person. Don't go back and forth with this person. Don't start, well, you know that you did this and you know that you said that and you know why I feel this way and you know what you did. No, don't do that. Because like I said, remember for some of y'all, this person was like, I'd rather you hate me if you're not going to love me, I'd rather you hate me. That's what I have for y'all. This was a long ass reading. I don't even know if it needed to be this long, but everything, I said what I said, what I said, and what needed to be said got said. Okay. So I really appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you for being here. Thank you to your guides for leading you here. All right. Thank you to my guides for helping me to deliver this message. Okay. I hope that I delivered it in a way that was clear and concise and gave you the love, light, and clarity that you needed in your life, okay? If you like the content, give it a like. Let me know if this resonated for you down in the comment section down below if you feel comfortable doing so, okay? If you dug the vibe and you want to stick around and join the tribe, subscribe, okay? If you're interested in getting a personal reading from me, my contact information is listed down below. I really appreciate you guys, and I will see you lovelies in the next one, okay? Bye.